Hey everyone, exciting brand new news that has come out this afternoon. I was at the Blue Lagoon today, it opened back up, and so I'm a little bit late on all this stuff. I get home and I start reading the news, and here we have a new eruption that was detected on the meters before they actually found it. Now you're looking at a picture here where they estimate or they believe that the actual eruption occurred. Now they're saying that it formed at the eruption site, so it's an eruption on an eruption or an eruption within a, an eruption area. I'm not too sure, but they're saying that it's close to one of the existing craters and it's not too large. Uh, however, it's the first time that the meteorological office's nature conservation experts saw what was going on with their measuring equipment and had the conditions on the ground checked. So they had the insight of this actually going to be happening prior to finding out and discovering that it was actually happening. If we take a look here, I'm on a couple of Facebook groups. This image here is the seismic activity in the area. Now, I know if you're looking at one of the multicams I have, I have this live feed going, but there was a post earlier today before this new eruption was discovered saying, hey, there's some seismic activity. I think we're going to see something go down today in the eruption area. And you know what? It turned out to be a new eruption. The weird thing for me, as we're taking a look at, at this sort of box, and this is where they believe it is, this box area here on the left. The weird thing for me is the news did say, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote exactly what they said here. They said that the preliminary information on which the news was based indicated that it was a new crack that had opened, but they're saying now that it's better to say that this is a new eruption. Those of you that are watching that maybe you, you know a little bit more about volcanoes than me. I mean, I just sort of have been learning as I go since this has started happening here in Iceland. Maybe you can tell me or post in the comments for everyone else that is curious. Why would this be considered a new eruption rather than some of the other ones where these new fissures or cracks opened up and lava came out? What would be the key difference between this? Because in my mind, I always thought that the eruption was the eruption and anything else that sort of came after that was part of the same eruption but uh yeah i mean i guess i'm i'm not 100 percent right on that uh so yeah so if you know leave leave some stuff in the comments and let me know now again all of this occurred in the danger of new vents zone as you can see here in red as it's close to some of the other activity it's already erupted and all the other cracks that have that have opened up in the vents so this is not some drastic new area outside of this eruption that has been occurring it's within the same the same zone so that's at least good that we're not now having to battle multiple eruptions throughout the entire country it's all collected in the same area if we're taking a look at the webcam the weather's not the best again this is probably your best bet to take a look and see if you can see something. I know a lot of people are hanging out here, giving a lot of good information on the live stream that I have going, and they've pointed the cameras at the eruption. The crazy thing to me, looking at both this live stream that's going on, and you can check that out, I'll put a link to it, or even you know these still frames is how many cones are popping up in this area. Like it's just flooded with these volcanoes in my mind it's just this volcanoes everywhere it really looks you know sort of like the post-apocalyptic beginning where they're like oh all of a sudden all these volcanoes started erupting and the whole world was covered in lava that kind of thing now i'm not saying that that's gonna happen for everyone that's gonna post comments about the end of the world that's not 100 not what i'm saying i just think that it's very it's very Crazy to me to see all of these uh, all these sort of mini volcanoes, I guess. So I thought this would be a great video to share with you guys, let you know what's been going on, and taking a look at the seismic activity there. Again, I have this seismic chart on the multiple cam live stream I have. There's obviously this this map that I've seen and shown before in previous videos so the danger zone is still there we're going to keep updated on how the lava progresses and they are saying that the lava is you know going over this path
path A, which I covered in the last video. So we're going to be keeping an eye on all of this as well. And then, of course, the main event is the new eruption. Again, let me know in the comments what that actually means versus a new fissure opening. What's the difference? And what are the potential implications for this? Can there be eruptions on eruptions? I have no idea. So that's it. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you found it interesting. And let's see what comes of all this new eruption stuff. Thanks so much for watching.